Hello and welcome to Riverview. I will be putting some links in the description below. Um, they will be to people who streamed um, Riverview earlier today or yesterday now. What was that? I had a fly land on my cup. Anything. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, so Riverview, as some of you may have seen from the previous video, will know that there's quite a lot changed around the general map, or the general area. Um, the, there's no road that comes through here. The, this is now two fields. The um, road that used to go around here is still very much there, but is now an asphalt, oh, oh an actual road. Um, sections of this road have changed in certain areas, all to make it smoother and more fun for people to play on, but also for plans down the line so if we if you take a second to picture that oh get that imprinted in, imprinted into your mind and then we'll switch into the game where the new pda is currently up now the pda is subject to change it but you'll get an idea of what's changed from the road it's the road you've got to pay attention to because you won't see what else has really changed from here? So, you ready? Like I said, an actual road that comes through here now and around and links up back here, and a road that splits field 32. But doesn't just split it, they now, uh, the, the other half of field 32 becomes its own field. Fields will be renumbered. We'll know if it current save games for people who are helping test the map. Um, this has changed, it now doesn't um, go in an S through here and then and, and, and incline and all that um, interesting stuff. The road now doesn't loop around this field, it just goes straight on. Sections of the road, pretty much everywhere has changed a little bit, but not to the point where it's not river uh, river view. It's just slight changes. So we will go on a quick drive around the full loop, and then we will do a um, through here to this point, and then we'll come back. And then, yeah, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back. Um, let me just think best way to do it. If we do, we do the full loop and then through here down, then back up and then around that way and around and then down and back to the farm or back to here where we need to be and then back to the farm when we're done. Because I want to finish this field off, we're currently seeding it in canola. And this one needs to be corn. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You know, let's jump to a tractor. I guess we could take you, couldn't we? No, because we're moving. Well, yeah, because we could end here. So if we drive from now, nah, we'll take, we'll just, we'll just go with this. It'll be fine. And of course, I've got no feedback in my wheel. No, best to drive outside the cab for this. I, even though I prefer driving inside the cab personally. So roads are smoother. That will be the immediate noti notice that you'll have. And you, you, you're always going to have a bump here and there. That's 
in a general rule, they are 100% smoother than they were. I mean, even through here, you, you feel a difference. Those who haven't played Riverview before, um, to get a better understanding of the changes of the roads, pause this video, download Riverview from ModHub, have a drive around, take this very tractor if you want and do the exact route that I'm going to take, do that and then um, and you'll know the changes. Or even watch the whole of this video and then do that. Or have it, if you've got multiple screens, have uh, this going in. Yep, well done AI. Jeez. And um, have this playing in there on another, on another monitor and you just follow along. So a dirt road has been added that will bypass the whole of this village. But the village, as you can see, has been opened up a little bit with the uh, with the um, with the pedestrian paving areas, which means it's not as tight going through here anymore. But it's still tight enough. The only production that's changed here is that building right there. The spinnery is now here. It's been moved. Where the spinnery used to be is now the potato production facility from the premium DLC. If you do not own the premium DLC, then those plots of land that have productions on from it will not be there because obviously they're not built into the map. They have spawned in and um, yeah. You, you need the premium DLC to be able to play with those particular buildings and it needs to be active, obviously, goes without saying. Now, there, this is subject to change because the roads, they will remain the same, but what you see around is subject to change. <clears throat> Nothing is 100% that's in stone right now. That dirt road there has now been pouring, so it will go around the back of these fields and across to the road over in the mountains. And just an easier way of bypassing all of this. Originally, you'd have to drive all the way around the the roads to get to different places. Now it just means that you don't have to do that. It uh, gives you a few more um, options when, when travelling somewhere and, and doesn't feel so much of a chore. So down here is where the first production would be for the premium DLC, which is where the spinnery used to be. This is now the potato production facility. So, yeah. That is there. And then... We carry on. You'll notice in certain areas the mountain's been pulled closer to the road. That was done purposely. You will get areas where the trees blind you. Um, now in real life you don't drive outside your car outside your car van whatever vehicle that you, you you're using do you and um so you can't expect every section of the map to, uh, to allow you to be able to drive like that uh, i was just thinking if i should go up there Come back down around and then no so grapes and olives have now been put in 
olives not so much uh, a thing that you'd grow in the UK grapes we can grow them but olives they did yeah um, but it's an area that you could purchase and you can do your grapes and olives here these houses on what is now my left as you look at the screen they wasn't there before it's all new you only had the houses on this side of the road originally um, apparently somebody's vacuuming in that house good for them I have laminate flooring so it's just a case of very quick and easy and then on a night it's run the run the steam mop over you will see areas where patches of grass aren't actually there like I said subject to change so what you see might not necessarily be what you get at the end we'll talk about that junction soon so we'll do the full loop and then um, and then we can move on from there sound fair? I think it does <coughs> So we're, this used to be um, quite a sharp turn in through here and down a hill slightly. It's been leveled out and smoothed out and, and, and everything just to be a bit more friendly. Boot processing. Again, if you don't have the premium DLC, if you don't own it or you do not have it active, that won't be there. But it does mean that you can put something else there. So. You don't have to own the premium DLC to play this map. However, there is one map requirement which we will come back to soon enough, or one mod requirement even. We'll come back to that soon enough. People who have played Riverview will uh, will know that there was a, a lot of trees that would get in your face originally. Um, the trees have been pushed back, cut back, cut down, so there's fewer of them. But there is still a lot of trees on this map. And anyone who knows me, I always put a lot, lot of trees on my maps. Just the way I, I am. I like, I like greenery. I hate gardening, but I like greenery. Don't ask me. That, that works, but yeah. I mean, from here, you can see that there is quite a bit. And just up there, the castle. That's still there. Just, you can see it from a lot more directions now. You're not just subject to seeing it over the BGA kind of direction. You, you can, and the village, you can see it from a multiple other directions. I think we will take this road and then we'll come back up that road. And then we'll end up coming back down this road to showcase something else. So the junction that I said we'll talk about earlier is the one that we're coming up to at the bottom of this road. Now, this road is the brand new road that was put in. And you can see that this was not a small field when it's before this road was put in. This was a huge field. And... Um... The average Viking did potatoes in this field. Ouch, is all I will say to that. 
I, I would not want to have uh, been the person doing potatoes. Interesting how them weeds have grown now. Uh, So we're now going to go back past the grape processing, or grape processing, grape and olive plot, I guess is the easiest thing to call it, or plots even, and wow, that was loud, they're having a party in that house apparently. bridge above us, goes across into the other forestry area, all the forestry areas, or the big forestry areas are all up in the mountains, and you'll get the odd area where there's trees that are low down as that floating deer, don't know, probably, oops, sorry Van, if this was Wreckfest I'd have been all over that, but This is not a request. Remember the road there said by the BGA that cuts through these fields? Well, it brings you through into this area. So all the way around there and then up the side of the field. You can Kind of see the road just over there, and then it goes through the head or between the hedges and then around between these two fields here along the side of that hedge on the other side of that hedge that we can't actually see from here. But yeah, just means they to be easier to get to the BGA, especially if you've got a bailing contract from here. Because these are all the grass fields over here. Ignore this. Completely. Ignore that. Right. Now we can go back down here. Because we're going straight over at the junction. And I don't know if you noticed earlier but. It's dirt roads back here. These dirt roads service all the fields over this side. So there's three fields, these two, and then that other one just over there. Just means that you can keep your big equipment off the main road and give you more access to these fields and allowing you to keep your equipment where it's easy to access and not gain in anybody's way. Because let's face it, if you're owning these fields, you're going to need some big equipment. There's wheat there, that's interesting. The farmer didn't want to get that in. Farmyards are still pretty much the same. I'm not going to go into details as to why I decides to rip all this out other than during my series if you go back to earlier episodes you will see that I complain about the roads quite a lot on this map or did and that's why I ended up doing this um, and it was the reason why I did all of this or decided that I wanted to do all of this then that shifted a little bit to, well, you know, FS25 will be the next game. Let's, let's plan for something for 25. And, um, and that's where we're at. So, the map is 
in private testing. Currently it's on our dedicated server um, for the testers to jump in and, and help test. Currently I'm the only person on here but it is like 4 o'clock in the morning almost like 3.30 so I would be very surprised if any mod has jumped on at this time or testers even um, there is a change in the field over there it's now bigger the backfield has had trees removed and been made bigger it, it's little areas like that that you might not notice until you actually come to work them sheep farm I mean, ours is going to look different to the one that is actually uh, you will see from other people who've been playing this version of the map that's because this is my own personal save so I'd sold some buildings put new buildings in so you can't can't take for granted what you see here has been 100% true to what the version that everybody else has because if I started in a new game it would be but I'm not going to do that not when I've got the rest of that field to seed and and, and the other field that needs seeding and then three fields that need rolling weeding and, and um, herbicide spraying on them all so a, a lot of work to be done on them three fields still in preparation for next year's harvest no this year's harvest yeah this year's because we're at the yeah. oh never mind see what I mean by you can see the castle from here I like the idea of that being able to see that castle from here if you uh more to look at. I know we said that we wouldn't drive all the way back to the farm, but you know, I kind of um, got a little carried away. And I don't do map tours, so as you can clearly see, me doing map tours would be a very bad idea. I would, um, I wouldn't be very good at it. We leave that to the professionals. All right, we got this down. Yes, we do. Let's uh, get back to it. <clears throat> so hopefully, you like what you've seen, and um, and the changes are very much from. The feedback I've got from a lot of people are um, not only quality of life changes, but was needed changes. Sadly, it does mean anyone that's currently playing Riverview uh, on console would require a new game. Those on PC, if you know how to update a save game to work with an, a, an, a, an update on a map that requires a new save, then you're, you know, you're lucky. But those who don't, sorry, but new save will be um, will be required. So um, my my suggestion there would be uh, the easy dev tool, and if you want to update your save game, get back whatever you've lost. When you uh, when you have to start over, if you wish to continue playing on Riverview with the new version. As for when does this version come out? Well, it's in private testing, so it's when we're happy that it's ready to be sent off to Giants. We're thinking it'll probably be in testing for a month. during which there will be probably a few changes that will happen here and there <clears throat> and um, but it shouldn't be too 
too drastic. We should be able to keep it safe game compatible going forward. You might see like trees move removed from certain areas, trees coming in in certain areas, just things like that. Um, grass areas being painted that was missing the grass texture, texture te or not texture, but foliage layer. Um, obviously, that would require a, a new save for that to appear, but it's not a game breaking thing, so it's not required for that. That would be more of a visual thing, um, and there is a workaround for that. You just paint it in yourself, uh, yourself, if it's bugging you in uh, in your current save. But this is to the mod testers, obviously, or you can just update the root layer GDM file. <clears throat> um. Like I said, there will be fields will be renumbered because field 50 kind of end is uh, in a weird place. That does not affect a save game and it doesn't affect what fields you actually own either. It just means that that will be moved. That number will become something else. That's all. Probably become like field. 49 or 50 or 31 we'll see when we get there but i started doing this a couple of days ago but i couldn't couldn't finish it how to do a few things um Those who followed my series will, will be fully aware of all of this, because they will uh, they will know that I, you know, how far I'd got, and I refuse to do any more on any more uh, episodes on the series until the map was actually ready and in a playable state. So here we are. So um, going forward, I won't be pointing out changes on the map. If I do a live stream um, and someone asks, I'll happily say what's changed, but I'm not going to purposely drive around the map to show. It'll just be, uh, yeah, there was a video of that done already. Um, you're free to watch it. But, uh, and I'm not being rude or anything, it's just... I, I, you know, don't want to be going over the same subject constantly. It'll be there's there's a video already out there, um, and and other people who are helping test or some of them are perhaps streaming the map, and all the links to people who uh, who have the map and uh, have done streams on it will be posted below uh, this episode so that you are more than welcome to go and watch them um, hopefully you give them a, a follow because they don't obviously just test um, maps they they do play games as well a lot of farm sim and a lot of other games for some and um, like uh, ETS is one oh that was a bad lineup. I don't use GPS, so I, I prefer to go with all manual. I I guess I'm old school. And yes, I could put course play up and have the lines there, and then just follow the lines like some people have. Uh, I've known some people do not actually using course play to actually do the work but giving them a, a, their own little guide to follow um, I just like to be awkward
uh, this field you can see that the help in it has been changed a little there's little changes like that here and there that field ahead of us has um, had all the trees removed from around the cliff side uh, and, and then um, that field is now much bigger than what it used to be making uh, making you think well do I really want to join more that field and that field together because um, yeah that field's probably bigger than that one now but I'll probably end up doing it at some point and then I might re end up regretting it after but you never know But while we're while we're testing, I probably won't join any fields together. Just in case there's any changes that are needed to a field, and uh, and then I don't want to have to redo all of the ploughing again. So I won't cut any trees down or anything. I'll leave them as they are. If they're in my way, then I will obviously have to kill them. But it will be kept to a very minimum, if uh, as, 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 or as minimum as possible. It's just nice to be able to play Riverview and have a road system feel how I wanted it to feel. And that I like to drive on. It was a, a very much a, a, a needed thing. And the, I have said multiple times that the biggest critic of any map is the person who made it, or should be the person who made it. Oh, I'll have to come back down and grab them little bits, so I can't be bothered to back up. Need a different cedar, don't I, for the corn? So I'll probably have to lease one in because I don't think I've got a plan to. <clears throat> it's a shame. Right, let's go and catch them few bits that we missed. And then... Then we can take the cedar back and uh, and double check that we haven't got our plans. Uh, I'm pretty sure we haven't. There we go. So obviously the hedges you can cut out sections of hedges or you can go along and cut the whole hedge out and open the map up. It's your prerogative. You you do you play the way you wanna play. Nobody's uh, going to judge you for the way that you like to play. I definitely won't anyway. I kind of um, encourage 
people to where do I normally park the cedar? Definitely not in there. It's not in one of the I think I remember. It was down here, wasn't it? Inside one of them sheds. Or inside that shed. Yes. <coughs> I thought we had a little bit more space than that. Now, do we have a planter? Well, we don't own one, and we're not leasing one. Have to lease one then. Is this one for sale, which there is not. So planters, let's see. With you, 300 horsepower. Twelve meters, really. No, it's a bit too big. And you, but you do have both. I don't think if we got tracks, so that's three. It won't be one of them. It's three fifty. We only have you. That would theoretically be able to work with a planter of 300 horsepower or more uh, cedar so go with you 12 meters let's do that let's get rid of the number plate we don't need it we'll lease that yep Now we'll go and pick up our planter. Here's another piece of equipment that we're leasing. We need to own that for 12 months before we can buy it if we wish to buy it. We could continue to lease it until we have the money or until its price drops to the point where we... Well, it, it's more beneficial to actually buy it. If everyone comes first. This won't be the normal um, hour, hour and a half, two hour video. Um, I won't get all of that all done in this video. Reason being is I obviously need to call it a night at some point soon. Uh, we're going to need fertilizer and seeds for this. Which is sure we've got all of that on the farm now. When I started this series, the Voltra deer that I used to give you was a was the base game Voltra deer, uh, or the the Voltra even. It was a small Voltra in comparison to what is there now. It's the reason why I haven't got a Voltra deer. I will be getting one. Don't worry. <clears throat> but I just refuse to start over again. The first thing I did once all of the road network was done and I was happy was update this, my save game to work with the uh, 
with the new version of the map. There's the seeds. Let's go and see if we've got any fertilizer. If we have, it will be over there. To back up, won't it? See how much we can fill. Okay, we had more than I thought we would have had in there. Go to the uh, newly changed field. She's down here. This all used to be flat coming through here. Um, I wanted to change it up a little bit. This part of the hill was here, but back there it was flat, coming in. I wanted to make it feel... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you a direct seeder? I don't think you... Like, uh, planters are direct seeders, are they? Planter... I don't think there is a direct uh, or a plant that does direct seeding. No. Um, yeah. So if we want a direct seeding ability, then we need to go for one of them. Which are you? I don't know if I would want to go for one of them, and what? Well, This doesn't look very good. Do you need liming? You don't. Why isn't this showing up as if it needs liming? What's going on there? Purchase that information. Better. That part apparently needs liming. We'll do it next time, it'll be fine. Um, yes, corn and the Didn't take that long with this um, sized planter anyway, but you can see why I said that other one would be too big. Seventeen meters, eighteen meters for the, the other one. I mean, this is a twelve meter, and this is already within the limits in in, in any regards. Go 
looks straight on here and then uh, we'll lift this planter up and then back up and uh, line up Originally this field was like, it would probably be not half the size of what it is now, but it would, uh, it looks like it's like, it would be half the size of what it is, but it, it wouldn't be, it would be, uh, be just under half the size of what it is now. And we'll do a second headland. Which will get overlapped quite a lot in certain areas. That'll be, uh, it'll be fine. Because I will be going up and down from that side, because it's the straightest side. And then, um, working my way across this side and it's not it's more along the top and bottom that I want the second headland so it's easier to turn around and uh, reline back up Again, straight on, and then we'll back up. Yeah, the uh, we're going through more seeds than we are fertilizer. Probably. Not too much more, but there's a slight difference there. I don't need to go into rain though. But that won't affect us planting, which will be fine. Right, and we have completed our full loop. So we'll just straighten this off against the uh, curve ahead. Let's go straight on, and then we've got a slightly bigger and flatter area to work from when we get there. <coughs> According to plan. Oh, 
I'll probably jump back on the server tomorrow and um, I'll probably get the rolling done on these three fields and run the rake over and and then uh, spray herb herbicide I dropped that too late I was rushing And then we uh, will have grass work to do. We'll have we'll be we'll have grass work to do soon before the these fields will need um, anything before these fields will need harvesting. Now normally um, if I wasn't on cam I'd have probably had a worker doing the rolling on them fields right now. But um, doing a video so obviously don't have them on there. been a lot of fun redoing Riverview the roads uh, seeing it all changing and coming to life and it just wasn't just an image in my head um, it was nice to actually get it done and uh, Like I said, hopefully when the map does come out, it will be something that a lot of people will appreciate more. It, it took just over a month to get it all done, but bearing in mind I did take uh, breaks here and there. Um... So, yeah. Oh, always the case. Actually, yeah, I think we'll finish this field off and then I will call it. It would have been over an hour. Okay. 
a lot of people they use the uh, coordinates at the bottom to if they're not using GPS to line up with and then they just go with that I don't I just look down the field and aim for a place and go yep that's where I want to end just keep going that way like I said old school We just got what done watching a TV show called uh, No Escape. It's actually really, uh, really good. If you haven't watched it, I would suggest um, searching for it and watching it. Yeah, I do recommend that one. Also, there'll be times when I'll follow like, lines within a field. It, it's just whatever makes it a little bit easier for you. Um, I refuse to learn GPS, even though we have the mod, I'm pretty sure we have the mod installed. I just refuse to learn it. I'm stubborn. Yeah, we did see the planter even, did well. Got all of this field done before it needed refilling. And uh, happy with that. It didn't take that long either. Now that field would take a while. That is a big field. no room down there to put this planter so I'll have to put it in the shed here let's see how well this will work out because I've never backed this up before obviously Wasn't too bad. And we don't need fuel, which is good. Spin this around and we'll grab the roller ready. Uh, 
and I'll take it down to the field just in case somebody comes on at least they can see what the plan was and I'd probably start at the bottom field the one that we just planted and work my way around and then um, go from there. I mean, it took what about uh, just under half an hour to do that field. Wasn't bad. Like I said, uh, I. I haven't used that planter before, so um, whereas this roller isn't the biggest in this roller we do, don't we? Uh, it, it'll take about the same time they took to do the um, to do the uh, the the seeding, so. Anyway, I would love to stay and uh, do more, but I really do need to go. So, hopefully you've enjoyed what you've uh, you've seen. Links will be provided below to those who streamed Riverview earlier. They are on Twitch, so you, if you want to see those particular vlog, uh, VODs, you would have to um, subscribe to them for a month. Um, but if you don't want to do that, hit the follow button. They do things that you might not might like, and they are worth. They're definitely worth following, and and um, and they might be doing review again. So yeah, but all of them are good guys, and uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you will enjoy it. Until next time, I'll catch you in the, uh, the next one. See ya.